Now looking here, you may not think these items make much sense. Steel wool, chewing gum, batteries, cell phones, cotton balls. Doesn't seem like it would add up to fire, but it will. Steel wool with zeros for the grade, either one zero or all the way up to four zeros, has a lot of carbon content and it's also conductive. So all we need is three volts of electricity or higher and this nine volt has plenty. We touch the positive and negative terminals to our steel wool and it ignites. We add another fuel source like the cotton ball and we have our fire right away, just that easy. So what other kinds of batteries will work besides a nine volt? We can also use D batteries, C batteries, or even double A batteries if we have a different material to ignite. This is where the gum wrapper comes in handy. So a paper gum wrapper with a foil covering can actually be torn to create a, a conductive yet flammable bridge which will allow a battery to create a fire. So tear out a circular section from the gum wrapper, make it like a small set of wings, and this bridge section in the middle should be very small. Then we're gonna take our large battery, touch the gum wrapper to the positive and negative terminals, and there we have our fire. And thirdly, we can use a cell phone battery to light a fire. Remove the cell phone battery and touch steel wool to the positive and negative terminals on that battery. And that's how you get a fire with steel wool, gum wrappers, and batteries. For more from Tim McWelch, pick up his Prepare for Anything and Hunting and Gathering Survival Manuals at OutdoorLife.com forward slash McWelch.